My name is Dr. Ann Fink, and I'm the Assistant Dean for College and Student Services at the M. Louise Fitzpatrick College of Nursing. As your Master of Ceremonies, it is my privilege to welcome you to this 2019 Villanova University um, M. Louise Fitzpatrick College of Nursing Convocation. This ceremony celebrates the achievements of graduates who have earned the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Please be seated. Before we begin, I would like to introduce some special guests. Mr. Richard Kreider, a university trustee and business school alumnus who is a former chairperson of our board of consultors and is a parent of a nursing alumna. Mr. George Cole, an associate vice president for alumni relations here at Villanova University, and Ms. Mrs. Rose Wojtowicz Odrisko, a BSN alumna and retired assistant dean for administration. Thank you for joining us today to celebrate our graduates. Before we begin, I would like to address a few housekeeping issues. For the safety of our graduates and for your fellow families and friends, please refrain from standing in the aisles or approaching the stage. Please silence your cell phones and refrain from loud conversations. I know that our outdoor setting can contribute to an informal atmosphere, but please regard the ceremony as the important formal event that it is. Thank you. I now present Dr. James Mendez, Assistant Professor, to say the invocation. Please remain seated. Gracious and loving God, we gather today in humble gratitude. We ask your blessings for the graduates, families, faculty, staff, and benefactors of the Fitzpatrick College of Nursing and the wider Villanova community. Give our graduates the inspiration to use their talents for the well-being of all people that they encounter throughout the world. As we celebrate their accomplishments and future dreams, we ask you to guide them to be generous, grateful, and caring in all their endeavors. Instill in them the desire to further their personal and professional growth and to share their talents with all members of our community. Teach them to echo your word and communicate it to all people. Help them to birth light and love into our world. Show them how to demonstrate compassion for all those who struggle with loss, illness, and other challenges. Remember and soothe all the concerns that they hold in the silence of their hearts. Help them to balance their lives as they strive to take care of themselves and others. Grant them the wisdom and patience to nourish and enrich all those people who are entrusted to their care. By your constant presence among us, please provide our graduates with direction, insight, and understanding to accomplish the future work that is set before them. May we always be mindful that your love for us is the source that enables all that we are and all that we will ever become. Amen. Next, I would like to invite to the stage Dr. Donna Sullivan Havens, Connolly Endowed Dean and Professor in the Fitzpatrick College of Nursing. I invite Dean Havens to offer her greetings. Good morning, M. Louise Fitzpatrick, College of Nursing, Class of 2019. Patrick, I know that you are looking down on us, on us today and that you are very proud. Thank you for all you've done for this college and these graduates. <laughs> graduates, congratulations on your brilliant achievement. However, I'm not really speaking just to the graduates, also to your families and friends who have trusted us and who have supported you in so many ways as you completed this journey. 
Family and friends, this is your ceremony also. Please stand. All family members, all friends, please stand up. Everybody. <laughs> graduates if you have not yet made a point today to say thank you please do that soon after this ceremony please be seated so we are also surrounded by others who have played critical roles along your journey your teachers your mentors your advisors and your exemplars some days even your stand-in family and now we are all your colleagues will the faculty and staff please stand to be acknowledged Indeed, you are a most accomplished class, not just surviving, but you thrived in a highly regarded, rigorous nursing curriculum. You led your campus peers in many initiatives. You won elections at the college, university, state, and national levels. You crafted healthcare policy to improve the world and the betterment of humankind. You served the vulnerable through care, sophisticated research, and community activism. You traveled the world to expand your horizons and learn from populations with whom you partnered and to whom you delivered care. Your future colleagues will not know all that you have accomplished as students. However, they will see how you care. How you work with them in a collaborative way to create the care delivery systems and environments that patients and families need and deserve. How to understand the needs of a diverse society and how a nurse can be so dedicated to social justice. They will see how you stand firmly on ethical foundations and that you always seek opportunities to learn because St. Augustine taught us all that we're always becoming, and that is critical for a Villanova nurse. They'll see how you lead by example quietly and sometimes not so quietly. They'll see how you use your keen ability to think and innovate with an evidence-based approach, making a difference for peers, patients, and populations. Your patients and families won't know everything you've done leading up until today, However, they will know how you make them feel. They know, will know, how you will laugh and cry with them, how you will listen and respect them and advocate for them, and how you will care for them and engage their families, how you will join them in strategizing and assisting them and their communities to enhance or regain health. You may think others aren't watching you, but believe me, they are. People will see you and what we are so proud of. Yes, there is something special and different about a Villanova nurse. And now at this point in your journey, we invite you to use the moniker that you have heard us refer to so many times since you first came to visit us when you were in high school. We are so very proud to now call you Villanova Nurses. Show me your Vs. Congratulations, class. We are very proud of you. Next, Dean Havens will present awards to recipients whose accomplishments are listed on the inside pages of your programs. Award recipients, um, actually, I just realized, uh, I'm skipping an important uh, proportion of this, <laughs> our student speaker. Um, so actually, next, our student speaker today is Catherine West, and Catherine will share with us her reflections of her nursing experience at Villanova University. Good morning, Dean Havens, faculty, administration, staff, parents, family, friends, and fellow graduates. Congratulations to all on this tremendous accomplishment. 
To the class of 2019, we did it. And to everyone else, a job well done. Four years ago, we were welcomed onto this campus by our enthusiastic faculty and staff. It's crazy to think how nervous we were to properly wash our hands during lab freshman year. But standing at that sink, singing happy birthday, was just the beginning of our wonderful, rigorous, and unforgettable Villanova journey. But I'd like you to go back a few weeks prior to arriving on campus for the first time. You were anxiously finalizing your packing list and squeezing last minute mementos from home into your overstuffed suitcase. Or maybe you didn't have the best time management skills, which not to worry, Villanova would soon teach you. And you were frantically running around your local store to find that perfect shower caddy. However you prepared for the beginning of your next journey, we all had the same essential items on our packing lists. Brand new name tags, stethoscopes, highlighters, backpacks, their rugs, and shampoo bottles, just to name a few. Well, four years later, as we pack up to go somewhere new or back to a familiar place, our name tags are missing, stethoscopes scuffed, highlighters run empty, backpacks smelling of that yogurt that's built in a junior year, throw rugs stained, and shampoo bottles down to the final drop. So now we must pack some new items in our suitcases that we've acquired over four years. Very toss, mini toss, carry toss. We've heard this phrase hundreds of times, but these three words were the very foundation of our growth and will continue to be at the center of the choices we make here on out. Truth, unity, and love have been woven throughout our experience in ways we may not have even noticed. We experience these values every day when driving with friends to clinical, holding hands in prayer and reflection, or when hugging and screaming as we won not one, but two national championships. Villanova has fostered this strong sense of community by providing us with an environment that supports unique differences and insists that mutual love and understanding animate every facet of our campus life. Although it is quite a pain having to run to the door as someone graciously holds it open, 50 feet still ahead of you, it's these small acts of love for each other that define our special community. We experienced and adapted these core values over four years, shaping us into the men and women that our world needs now. Not only were we challenged academically every day on how to succeed in our professional careers, but we were also challenged physically by having to balance exams, papers, social life, extracurriculars, and anatomy. We've been challenged emotionally with losses in our community, but our ability to grieve together and radiate love. We've been challenged culturally by pushing barriers and engaging with our diverse communities through various clubs, clinicals, service, and outreach programs. And lastly, we've been challenged spiritually by hearing the personal stories of our patients and reflecting on those deeper questions of our morals and society structure in order to fight and care for a more just world. Take a second to look at those around you, your family, the ones who helped pack your original suitcase and set you on this amazing path of success at Villanova, and your friends, the ones who helped fill your suitcase along the way, the ones who drank at least three cups of Holy Ground coffee a day with you, studied with you until 2 a.m. in the library, was your practice patient when learning how to deliver a baby, cried with you before exams, and laughed with you every day. All these people taught you the power of unity, truth, and love. Every one of these challenges and every connection we made here taught us a lesson. And these are the lessons we must pack in our suitcases for the future. Our holistic developments at Villanova have given us the abilities needed to be servant leaders and catalysts for the change in the new communities we will be serving. So whether you are moving to Philadelphia for pediatrics, California for women's health, New York City for critical care, DC for med search, Boston for oncology, 
or Texas, just to reminisce on some very magical moments down there. We will all be carrying something in common. Villanova has given us a full suitcase for life, full of challenges, memories, lessons, skills, and values. So when faced with a dilemma or seemingly impossible decision, think back to your times at Villanova and the things we were taught to grow into passionate, caring, truthful, and curious nurses. The nurses who will ignite change. Thank you and congratulations again. What's coming next. <laughs> um, next, Jean Havens will present awards to the recipients whose accomplishments are listed in your program. And award recipients, please come forward as your name is called. The Villanova University M. Louise Fitzpatrick College of Nursing Medallion for Distinguished Academic Achievement is awarded to degree candidates whose performance has consistently been superior throughout their programs of study. This year, the recipient of the medallion is Savannah Brooke Zinzer. exemplifies the ideals of clinical nursing excellence so valued by Professor McCauley and is presented annually to the member of the graduating class of the BSN program who by vote of the faculty has demonstrated this excellence in her or his clinical practice. This year's recipient is Song Bin No. study to female students at Villanova, the Villanova University Alumni Association each year recognizes an outstanding leader in the senior class who epitomizes Villanova alumni values. This award has been named the Reverend Francis XN McGuire OSA Award of the Villanova University Alumni Association. Father McGuire was president of Villanova when the College of Nursing was founded. The award will be presented by Mr. George Kolb, assisted by Dean Havens. This year's recipient, chosen by nomination and vote of the faculty, is Catherine C. West. Congratulations on your award and your remarks were so well done. Congratulations on everything. And on behalf of the Villanova University Alumni Association, I not only want to congratulate Catherine, but all of you graduates. Just congratulations on your achievements, all of you've done here. Parents, congratulations on all you've done to support them. You are now members of an almost 130,000 member network and community at Villanova amongst other alumni. And if I have a wish for you, it's to stay connected to that community. Connect with the Nursing Alumni Association, back to the Fitzpatrick College of Nursing, programming in your market or in an area of interest, but please stay connected. This senior class gift for Villanova, the participation was 
among our seniors this year. And we hope that as you leave here, that you continue that, that you give of your time, you give of your talent, and you continue to give back to your university. So in closing, congratulations to all of you, and go Cats. The Roy Rose Wojtowicz O'Driscoll Student Service Award is given to a senior in good standing who by vote of the faculty has demonstrated a continuous record of service to both the Fitzpatrick College of Nursing and the university over uh, her or his course, course of study and has demonstrated leadership through example. The award will be presented by Mrs. Rose Wojtowicz O'Driscoll and by Dean Havens. This year's recipient is Kendall Connolly. Kendall, please come forward. retired Brigadier General Hazel Johnson, a 1959 alumna of the College of Nursing and the first African-American woman to be appointed as Chief of the United States Army Nurse Corps. The, the award recognizes outstanding leadership, and this year the award is given to Megan Michaela Scanlon. States Navy Nurse Corps as an ensign. Abigail Bartlett, please stand. <laughs> to announce the graduates who had their degrees conferred yesterday, I asked Dr. Leslie Perry, Associate Dean and Professor, to come forward. After each graduate's name is called, the graduate will participate in a pinning ceremony. A pinning ceremony is a symbolic welcoming of newly graduated nurses into the nursing profession. The nursing pin is a symbol with rich history. Because Florence Nightingale identified the importance of nurses as training, hospitals began developing their own training programs. These programs began designing and awarding a badge or pin, which was presented to its nurses to indicate completion of that program. Eventually, each school of nursing designed and awarded a customized pin. The Villanova University and Louise Fitzpatrick College of Nursing also has its own pin. It is a modification of the Villanova University seal, which reflects the symbols of the Order of St. Augustine. Within a blue border, which reads Villanova University and Louise Fitzpatrick College of Nursing, are the three Latin words, Veritas, Unitas, Caritas, which translated mean truth, unity, love. The significance of the pin is that it identifies these qualities as exemplified in alumni of the Villanova University Fitzpatrick College of Nursing. Those of you who are now graduates are eligible to wear it. So graduates, um, you'll please come forward by row. As Dr. Perry reads your name, step onto the stage, shake hands with Dean Havens, and then proceed down the side of the stage to one of the faculty members to my right. Um, then you'll be pinned, there's a station for uh, photography, and then please return to your seats. The following row should come forward as the last graduate from the previous row steps forward. I ask that the audience please hold your applause until all names have been completed. Denny, recipient of a service award. Yeah, Marissa Welke, recipient of a service award. Lauren 
Munter, recipient of a service award. Megan Michaelis Gamlin, recipient of a service award. Kendall Grace Conlin, recipient of a service award. Song Bin No, recipient of a service award. Savannah Brooke Zinzer, recipient of an academic achievement award. Catherine Cecilia West, recipient of a service award. Megan Catherine Conway, recipient of a service award. Elizabeth Marie Jacko. Bridget Mary Holman. Stephanie Schmidt. Kelly Marissa Coughlin. Jasmine Marie McKay. Dolores L. Rhodes. Alyssa M. Wade, recipient of an Academic Achievement Award. Mary Shannon Myers, recipient of an Academic Achievement Award. Claire Charlene LaRue. Nicolette Marie Ferre. <coughs> Megan Marie Galvin, recipient of a service award and an academic achievement award. Emily Page. Juliana Elizabeth Schneider, recipient of a service award. Anna Rachel Cameron. Jessica Ann Meehan, recipient of a service award and an academic achievement award. Nicole Michelle Reingold, recipient of a service award. Kara Lynn Infante. Veronica Claire Robbins. Geraldine Julia Genovese. Nicole M. Johnson, recipient of an Academic Achievement Award. Caitlin Aperhori, recipient of an Academic Achievement Award. And Vanessa Alvarado. Gina Therese D'Antonio, recipient of the service Kelsey Ann Glancy. Marie Barbara Griffin. Nora Catherine Malloy Caprici. Catherine Rebecca Dowdle. Haley Morgan Less. Trinette Melidi Jackson. Anne Marie Betts. Woo! 
Emily Virginia Wright, recipient of a service award. <coughs> Alexandra Marie Santa Maria, Bridget Kelly Huggard. Erin Marie Gibson. Erin Marie Donnelly, recipient of a service award and an academic achievement award. Julia Marguerite Noel. Recipient of a Service Award and an Academic Achievement Award. Stephanie Taylor Harvey. Cindy Lynn. Monica June Tax. Isabel Roncase. Jacqueline Marie Fisiella, recipient of a service award and an academic achievement award. Woo! Katie Kennedy Flagg, recipient of an academic achievement award. Pearl Phillips, recipient of an academic achievement award. Chanel Jones. Marcus Abusu, recipient of a service award. <laughs> Temi Odukele, <laughs> recipient of a service award. <laughs> Elizabeth Michaela Fox. Mara Benice. Peterson. Megan Haley Foose. Jessica Noel Powell. Samantha Marie Russo. Anna Maria Molitor. Elizabeth Rose Sithopian. Emmett Patrick Gilroy. Austin Chase Jones. Abigail Bartlett. Caroline Penny Nelson, recipient of a service award. Madeline Annelise Gattler. Recipient of a Service Award. Bridget Ann Reese, recipient of an Academic Achievement Award. Courtney Nicole Kojak, recipient of a Service Award. Antonio Luis Garcia,
Rachel McGuire Heckler, Mackenzie Ann Byerly. Kara Zygmunt Mullaney, recipient of an Academic Achievement Award. Jane M. Harris. Catherine Ann DeMeo. Jordan Alexandra Barrett. Elizabeth Farley. Kristen Salmon, recipient of a service award. Addison Taylor Wallace, recipient of an academic achievement award. Julie Rose Fabiano, recipient of a service award. Megan Elizabeth Sorrows, recipient of a service award. <laughs> Melanie Grace Ochabillo. Yeah! Anika Nana, recipient of a service award. <laughs> Hayes Murphy Marcus, recipient of a service award. Jasmine Elizabeth Lima, recipient of a service award. Lauren D. Cooney. <laughs> Amelia Lord Morgan Dresser, recipient of a service award. Gabriella Maria Molina, recipient of a service award. Simone Elsa Brissenden, recipient of a service award and an academic achievement award. Addison Lay Hiller, recipient of an academic achievement award. Maeve O'Halloran Penny. Taylor Christine Anzalotti. Recipient of a service award. Mara Elizabeth Viper. Recipient of an academic achievement award. Rachel Louise Sims. Claire Elizabeth O'Neill. Bridget M. Hannigan. Anna Verlee Clark. Recipient of an Academic Achievement Award. Marianne Joan Kennelly. Caitlin Elizabeth Donald. Caitlin Marie Rogers, recipient of a service award. <laughs> Jennifer Kim. <laughs> Stephanie Diana Gay. <laughs> Yuna Kim. <laughs> Jin Young Lee. Jo Joelle B. Jakes. Sabrina R. Feinberg. Aaron Elizabeth Mikazi.
Christine Elizabeth Graziano. Bridget Catherine Coleman. Catherine Ward. Grace Christine Stamp. Service Award. Molly Tariq Kaufman. Madeline Carol Bloom. Elizabeth Kennedy Carberry. Adeline Delgato. Sophia E. Valentino. Congratulations, graduates. Associate Dean for 12 years and last year was our interim dean. She has provided critical leadership for the academic programs, operations, strategic planning, and faculty, and was integral in the planning and design of our beautiful Driscoll Hall. She is a treasured colleague who exemplifies the university's motto of Veritas, Unitas, Caritas, and we are delighted to claim her as an honorary member of our Villanova alumna, nursing alumni. of her service to the M. Louise Fitzpatrick College of Nursing, Dean Havens will award Mrs. Marie Paolucci the College of Nursing spin. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
In her role as the college's undergraduate program assistant, she has shared her heart, soul, and abundance of knowledge with an estimated 5,000 BSN students across three decades. Congratulations and thank you. to the podium, Ms. Ann Barrow mckenzie board member of the Nursing Alumni Association and Director of College Relations. So I get to follow that. Good morning, Villanova nurses. Dr. Perry and Mrs. Paolucci, I'm talking to you as well. I'm very honored to be here with you this morning on behalf of our board to congratulate you on your graduation and also to welcome you into the Nursing Alumni Association. We hope it's the beginning of a lifetime of engagement with our college and with our future students as you not only network with each other, socialize with each other, but also give us your ideas, your feedback, your time, your presence, and your support in a myriad of ways. The Nova Nursing Nation has over 9,000 members and you are now among them. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and congratulations. We look forward to working with you for years to come. Please stand and join in singing the alma mater. The words can be found on the last page of your program. Graduates Emily Denny, Lauren Munter, and Larissa Hoke will lead the singing. After the alma mater, please remain standing. Dr. Meredith Mackenzie Greenlee, Assistant Professor, will offer the benediction. Yeah. 
seasons of joy, festivals of celebration. We come before you today with hearts full of gratitude. As faculty and staff, we give thanks for the closure of another academic year and the successful launching of this group of graduates. We thank you for the way they have touched our lives, strengthened our teaching, and renewed our passion for the nursing profession. As students, we give thanks to the faculty and staff who nurtured us, mentored us, challenged us, and modeled for us the nursing roles to which we aspire. We give thanks for our support systems, our family and friends, who have loved us and inspired us who have held us and encouraged us during our times of challenge and self-doubt and have been our biggest cheerleaders and those with us to celebrate today. We give thanks for the patients who we've encountered over our years here, who have shared their lives with us and allowed us to practice our nursing skills and gain knowledge even during the most vulnerable times. We give thanks for our peers, colleagues, and friends in the program and across the university we know that we would not have made it without them. As we look forward to the future, we pray for our graduates. May they have the strength and courage to face the challenges of the future without losing their sensitivity to the feelings of others and their compassion for their patients' needs. May they develop the wisdom needed to blossom into nurses of excellence without losing their wonder at the marvels of the human body and the resilience of the human spirit. As we look back to the past with gratitude and to the future with excitement, may we pause to be fully present in the joy of today. Amen. As we conclude our ceremony, please join us in Driscoll Hall for refreshments. Refreshment tables are located in the lobby through the main doors behind me and on the second floor. If you are able to navigate the stairs and wish for quick access to refreshments, um, please proceed through the far door to my right and directly upstairs to the second floor. If you need assistance, an elevator is located in the lobby. Whether you choose to seek refreshments on the first or second floors, please use both sides of the table to facilitate timely access to refreshments for everyone. Please remain seated during the recession of our faculty and then our graduates. Congratulations to all of you.